So now today we're going to be solving equations. As you could see, on both sides of the equation we have to do the distributive property. So what I'm going to do is the following. This is what I'm going to do. Before anything that way I don't forget, I'm going to write this here to let me know that this is my equation, my equal sign, that I need to stop at one point or the other. At this time, what I want to do is I want to work with my left side of my equation, just my left side. And based on what we have learned already, we already know that this is a distributive property. I have two terms inside. Since I have two terms, I have my two boxes there. On each of them, I'm going to write my 12 and my 12, multiplying by what I have inside my parentheses, x and positive 3. Once I do that, I'm going to use what's called the distributive property. Multiplication of 12 times x will give me equal to 12x, and 12 times positive 3 is going to give me positive 36. Okay? And just notice that I cannot do nothing here anymore because they're not like terms. And since they're not like terms, I'm going to proceed to my other side of my equation. And of course, I cannot forget my equal sign. I'm going to continue with equal sign and equal sign. Now look what happens here on this side of the equation. I'm going to start again with my distributed property. I have two times inside my parentheses. I have my two boxes for each of them. I know that I'm going to have my four and my four. So I'm going to start now with what is inside my parentheses, x and positive 12. So I have now, if I use my distributive property, I have here 4x plus 48. And of course, I have to bring down my positive 6x. I have to bring that down. Now notice here, notice here now, that I have two light terms. I have 4x and I have positive 6x. But there's no equal sign between them. You see that? There's no equal sign. So when you don't have an equal sign between those two light terms, you cannot do the inverse operation. All you're going to do is either add it up or subtract it. In this case, we have to add it because it has a plus. 4x plus 6x is going to give you equals to 10x. You're just going to add it up, bring down the positive, bring down the 48. These are not like terms. I'm going to stop there. Now is the time for me to bring again down my equal sign. And I'm going to bring down from this size my 12x plus 36. From there, I'm going to go ahead and find my light terms. Now, on each other the equation, positive 36 and positive 48 are light terms. I'm going to do my inverse operation. And why inverse operation? Because in between of my two light terms, there's an equal sign that is telling me stop, stop, stop to your inverse operation. Positive 36, negative 36. And negative 36. Inverse operation of positive, negative. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I must do to the other side of the equation. This goes away. I have a 12x. Bring down my equals. 10x positive, because positive and negative, I know I have to subtract, but I have more of my 48 that will give me a 12. Okay? I still have light terms. Now, this side, my light terms are 12x and 10x. And between those two light terms, I have this equal sign that is telling stop, 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 inverse operation. So I'm going to do my inverse operation, positive 10x, negative 10x, and negative 10x. I'm going to subtract, this will give me equals to 2x, goes away, positive 12. Now some of you, a lot of time, don't realize that this means multiplication, multiplication, multiplication. Inverse of multiplication is going to be division, and why inverse again? Because I have my equal sign that is telling me inverse operation. 
So inverse of multiplication division divided by 2, divided by 2 goes away. And that means that x goes into 12, 2 goes into 12, 6 times. So this will be my final answer. Okay? Keep in mind that when we work with this type of equations and we have to distribute the property on each side, you decide which one are you guys are going to do first, the left side or the right side. Once you change that, once you have done your distributive property and you have no more like terms and you stop on one side of the equation, you continue with the second one. And that will be easier for you to organize your thoughts and complete your whole equation. Okay? So we're going to practice now.